Welcome back. Our time now is 841. It's a hidden epidemic impacting Hoosiers of all walks of life across the state. Now, award-winning veteran reporters at the Indy Star are lifting the veil on the issue in a new investigation titled Death Sentence. The project examines the shocking number of deaths inside Indiana's county jails. The investigation is years in the making. So joining me live are Indy Star investigative reporters Tim Evans and Ryan Martin. Good morning to you both. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks morning. for having us. Absolutely. So let's start with you, Tim. Now you uncovered a troubling trend here. How many deaths are we talking? We're talking more than 300 deaths since 2010, um, which comes out to a death every two weeks wow. uh, for 11 plus years. Wow. That's just shocking to hear those numbers out loud there. I think when you think of it, you know, we break it down like that. It's you know, 300 may or may not seem like a huge number to people, but when it's every two weeks, then you know, there's something going on. Absolutely. And that made you want to look into it and do this investigative report. And Ryan, you found that many of these deaths were likely preventable, right? How so? So we found that some of the deaths that occurred um, would have happened whether or not they were inside jail. You know, some people died of uh, terminal illnesses, but for the majority of the deaths that we found, um, we're talking about things like preventable, they likely would have been preventable because of if they had medical care, for example. Um, mm -hmm. We're talking about alcohol withdrawals, we're talking about suicide, um, and a lot of other really um, awful circumstances. Yeah, there are many factors that go into this, and when people read the report, they're able to look more into. You said it could take some time, so it's a it's a thick read to yeah. understand this big problem that's going on. And ten mental health is such a big part of this. It's part of the picture you mentioned there, Ryan, as well. What did authorities tell you when you start looked when you started to look into this? The jails, the sheriffs are telling us that the jails are overwhelmed uh, by an influx of people with serious mental illness and drug addiction and, uh, and alcohol problems. Mm -hmm. And they're not prepared to, to deal with those kind of people. It's, it's a, uh, a population that, that's high risk, high maintenance, and uh, it's not, jail isn't the place for them and jailers aren't prepared to deal with them. And the issue here, and the blame doesn't fall solely on the people who are running these jails and these prisons, right? Right, Ryan? Or yeah, and so it really is a systemic issue, right. and, it, and it really does touch all corners of the state. And, you know, it isn't just a big city issue. It's also affecting, you know, some of the smallest jails um, in the state. And um, basically what we found is that sheriffs are, when they, the sheriffs who talk to us are basically desperate for help. Mm. Um, they, many of them are acknowledging some of the problems occurring inside their jails, but they also are all but begging for help from state lawmakers, from their local county counselors, local county commissioners, and just from, you know, people like us who are paying attention and um, trying to understand more. And to get the issue out there so people understand, because if they don't have anyone in that in the system or they don't know how it works, they have no idea what's going on. So to bring attention to it, I'm sure, is a big help for them. And Tim, in your opinion, what needs to be done to prevent more deaths after your investigation? I think, you know, jails are overcrowded, they're understaffed. And again, they've got this uh, large population of people who could be better served in, in other situations in drug treatment, uh, in mental health uh, facilities. And Indiana just doesn't have enough of those facilities. And so the jails in Indiana are the largest mental health providers in the state. And that's just you know something that has to be addressed at the state level and comprehensively. Absolutely. And Ryan, for folks watching, why is it so important for people to look into your investigation and read about this? Why should they uh, go check that out? Uh, well, every county has a jail, right? And um, thousands of Hoosiers go through the jails at any given time, mm -hmm. and um, I think we just want to—we all need to be asking ourselves if a lot of these people are in jail for really low-level stuff, mm -hmm. and you know, under the Constitution, they're presumed innocent, um, and the things that are happening to them are just really awful, really gruesome. And I don't think any of us. No matter who we've interviewed during this process, right. the sheriffs, corrections experts, advocates, all of them are in agreement that this shouldn't be happening to people inside jail. Mm -hmm. And we hope people will check out the stories and, and understand that. Absolutely. Well, thank you both for thank sharing you. this with us. I think it is very important and a very uh, important topic that people need to take a look at if they, ha they don't know much about it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and for more on Indy Star's death sentence investigation, just go to fox59.com links, and that's where people can find that full investigation. Thank you.